Hello, I hope that you are um, catching this. Right now, I know I have several people who have paid for this class. So I'm just gonna give a couple minutes for people to join on. Oh, I see I have a couple people on. Um, in the comment, let me know um, your name and where you're watching this. It'd be kind of fun to see um, where people are at. I'm gonna be doing a fun fold class. This is um, celebrating my 27th Stampin' Up! anniversary, which cannot believe it's been 27 years. So much has happened since that time, but um, I have loved every minute and I still love what I do. So that's why I continue to do it. It's so fun to um, share the love of card making with other people. Today, I'm gonna to be working with the Zinnia, um, the Flowering Zinnia Designer Series paper, which is one of our online exclusives. Oh, there's Carolyn and she is coming in from Texas. Are you back in Texas now, actually? I know she left temporarily to catch the eclipse a little bit better. Um, anyway, um, so I have a class, and so some of you may not have purchased the class ahead of time. Oh, Andrea, Andrea's here too, good to see you. Um, or just see your name on there anyway. Um, I thought it'd be fun to do a fun folds class, and um, you can do this with any designer series paper. And so thanks, Sue. I uh, got your card yesterday, which is awesome. Um, Sue's one of my um, team members, which is great, and she's in Woodbury. Um, so anyway, like I said, when you when you um, log in, tell me where you're coming from and where you're watching this. So um, fun folds are really um, fun to do. It sounds kind of dumb, but um, for this class, I'm gonna show you, oh, we've got someone from Virginia, that's great. Um, I'm gonna show you here. Um, this I'm gonna move this to the front, add to the stage here. So these are the products that we're using today. Um, these, the people that paid for the class ahead of time got either a half pack or a full pack of these. And these are the iridescent adhesive backed discs. So they're really easy to stick on. And then you're using this white and silver uh, ribbon. And then I just packaged um, my products like this. And then you, depending on which class you did, either a half pack or a full pack of this designer series paper. And I just love this designer series paper. I'm so glad that it's not in the current catalog and it's just gonna keep on going. It's one of our online exclusives. So we never know um, how long we'll have it, but I think this is so popular that we're gonna just keep on making it. At least I hope so. And then I had the PDF. Um, so this was emailed um, to the participants that has, has all the, directions and um, everything in that. So on, once this loads onto my YouTube page, there is um, kind of instructions on if you do wanna just get the PDF or if you wanna still get the class and you can just watch this later. All right, Anna and Karen are watching too from New Jersey. That's pretty fun. Um, anyway, uh, excited to be stamping with you today. You know, it's funny, when I signed up to do this, I had no idea what I was getting myself into. I had never even stamped before. I think I've, most of you probably know this, but <clears throat> my mother-in-law went to a uh, workshop and she's like, Kristen, you would just love this. You should sign up. And I was living in Wisconsin at the time and didn't have time to go back and see her catalog. And she finally said, I think you should just sign up. And if you don't end up um, making any money, I'll just give you the money that you put into the kit. So 27 years later, I am still doing this. And Stampin' Up! has changed a lot over the 27 years. I have changed a lot over 27 years. I had no kids at the time. We were married, living in Wisconsin, and then I moved to Michigan, and now back home to Minnesota. So three states later, still stamping away. <clears throat> how about you comment how long you have been stamping or crafting? It'd be fun to see how long people are, have been doing that. Um, if you have your kids at home, get out um, this one right here. It's got the Mill and Mambo longer piece. <clears throat> we're going to make an easel card for this first one. Actually, I have two kits just in case something's missing here. Um, try to go every, through everything ahead of time, but just in case. So if you did a class with me, I did score yours for you, but mine is not scored. So I have a piece of paper here. Oh, we've got Debbie from Michigan. Hello. Um, this piece is four and a quarter by 11. And so it's half a piece of cardstock, but just going um, the vertical way. And so I'm going to score this at five and a half and eight and a quarter. So I'm just going to, the dark one cuts. I always gotta make sure I get that one out of the way because that is a huge bummer if you um, set a score. 
So I'm going to go to eight and a quarter. All right, and so you can just fold this. And then there's this gonna be another fold um, right there. So it's basically half of this card is how we do that. So I'm gonna just set this aside. And so now I've got these pieces. These are um, all from the flowering zinnia pack. And so I'm just going to, um, I have a piece of each of these and then white. They're going to just get mounted on there. And so these are each two and a half inches, the white ones, and these are two and a quarter. So two and a quarter by four, and then, um, I'm sorry, two and a half by four, and then two and a quarter by three and three fourths. So there's a quarter of an inch just around there. So you can just adhere these to the white pieces. It doesn't matter what adhesive you use. Yes, Andrea, you were with me since Kalamazoo. Um, right when I had Isaac. That ages me big time. In fact, I think I was with your group um, <laughs> having a workshop. And on the way home, I was like, oh, my word, am I in labor with Abigail? And sure enough, I went to the hospital shortly after. It's funny because I went to labor with um, Charles um, after a workshop too. I guess <laughs> I'm having too much fun at my uh, Stampin' workshops that I'm going, going into labor after. It's kind of funny. Um, yeah, it was funny, Andrea. It's I got home and my, I said, like, oh, like, this is my second time. I'm like, oh, my stomach. And he just kind of looked at me. He's like, honey, you're having a baby. I didn't have a baby book, so I made a stop at homework on the way there because I was still over two weeks early. It just shows how I am. We had to stop and buy a baby book on the way to the hospital. Um, I'm now going to put this white piece um, inside. This is um, four inches by five and a quarter. So you get to see a little bit of the edge around the melon mambo. For those that are um stamping along with me are, are you able to keep up is this am i doing okay hopefully i am <laughs> i'm going to now um open i uh, use this ribbon here and i'm just going to tie a knot in here put it on the top and i may or may not be going in the exact <laughs> order that i wrote in the pdf I like to um, do my ribbon uh, while it, I like to tie it while it's still connected to this. I find that I have less waste that way. And there is just a little tie on top. And so um, the You Are Simply Marvelous. So this, I'm using perennial postage and you can use any greeting set that you have at your house. Um, this set is actually retiring. And so um, the dies that I use with it, the perennial postage dies are still staying, which is great. I use these so much, but um, these are retiring at the end of this month or if they sell out, um, they'll be gone before the end of the month. So I need to get my Melon Mambo ink here. You can use a similar color if you don't have Melon Mambo. And I really like this. You are simply marvelous. And so I'm going to um, put this kind of in the middle. And so I just have my image like that. I'm going to put this aside. And then I'm going to take my snips and just cut it at an angle. I'm going to close my ink. If I have ink open for too long, I end up getting it all over. So I am getting it out of the way right away. And I'm just going to put this so it kind of goes off over the edge a little bit. And then now is the fun part. These dies are from the Zinnia dies, these die cut things. And so I die cut them for the people that are in the class. And so it's a good thing to do while you're watching a movie. <laughs> I just did all kinds of, just kept trimming away. All right, so you have, um, a pink one for the um, leaves. I did um, both leaves in the same color. Now you could do them in different colors. I just thought you still can tell well on that. This is a silicone mat. When I am doing adhesive on tiny pieces, I like to work over this because it helps not get, get the extra glue all over whatever surface you're working on. Another tip, 
I've, um, you can also do it on top of this dimensional sheet in this area, and it won't stick on there either. So otherwise you can get such a sticky mess. So I'm gonna get this one ready. Um, get the pink flower. Aren't these flowers just so fun? Just love them. Here we go, I'll move that out of the way. So I have this flower here, and then I'm just going to kind of tuck the leaves. Just get it so I see my words. Whoops. You can kind of move it how it works best for your greeting. And then I'm going to do this little orange center. I'll set that right there. And then we'll have the yellow in the center. So here is the card like that. Now I have um, this little piece of um, zinnia, uh, it's a embossed. So can you see, probably a little bit, this embossing folder, I've used it on a couple of them, but it just re uh, makes kind of a neat background. So I did just a little strip here. And so this is gonna go on the inside on top of the white. Oh, it's probably up about a half inch. And the reason I do that is because then it makes this kind of a, an easel card. And so it just sits like that. So someone could just leave that sitting on their table or desk. Um, but this little strip makes it so that it, it stops um, at, the, at that point. I don't know how it goes too much. There we go. So this is the card, looks, looks like this. So um, hopefully you um, got that all. So again, this first card is the easel one. Oops, oh, wait a minute. Forgot about our fun little discs here. So I'm gonna just put these on oops, a few different spots here. So we'll put, I just um, took too much of that off here. Um, you can do a few different colors on here. How that a way on? These discs are really quick and easy to work with. They just add a little shimmer. So hopefully you got that done. Did everyone get that one done? Hopefully you can. Um, you can always um, watch this again if you need to catch up a little bit later. I'm going to set these aside. Um, and then stay tuned. I've got a way for... Um, Oh, Andrea's almost done. We will be, um, I have a way for us you to win, um, be in a drawing for a $27, why 27? Because it's my 27th anniversary, uh, $27 gift card to um, get some Stampin' Up! products. So I will be sharing that in just a little bit. Um, the next card that I'm going to be doing is this paper right here. Isn't it so fun? Love the lucky lime. Sorry, I'm grabbing my cheat sheet here. So you can get that out if you don't have an, or Lemon Lane Twist. What was I doing calling it Lucky Lemon? Lemon Lane Twist. And so um, this is the kit. We're also going to be um, working with our paper butterflies. These um, were in our spring mini catalog, but it is also going to be in our next catalog, which is great. So um, I was really happy that they were keeping those around. They didn't, they sold out. And so um, they are going to be back in stock soon if they aren't already. Um, but I'm glad that they're going to be sticking around a while longer. So I'm going to um, die, or I'm going to score this one. Now this one is five and a half by seven and a half, so I cut it a little bit smaller than you would normally have. I'm going to move this silicone mat. Okay, so and then I'm going to um, score it at one inch, and you don't need to do this because I did it for you at one inch and then I'm going to do it again at four and a quarter. So it's going to open so that you see this little edge. So um, all you should have to be able to do is just fold that part in half. I'll move this out of the way. Are you upset Andrea? And how are you doing Carolyn, Anne and Karen? Everyone doing good? Oh, I did. I missed some of those earlier. Um, Sue started in 1997, 2007 for Carolyn. 
a lot of stampers for a long time. All right, so this paper, I love this piece. I have, they're like all my favorite pieces. <laughs> You'll have to let me know which piece you like the best. Um, so this piece is gonna go right on the front here. And so I'm just going to add some adhesive. Sometimes I wanna make a card too, just with all the back, the back sides, cause those are fun too. They just don't have the flowers on them. So I'm gonna put this in this front flap. So this is the front flap of the card. And then I have this piece. Um, these are the, um, so you could do this side here, the leaves going down or this side. And I'm, I'm gonna do this side with the olive or little moss kind of look. Kind of has a, both of those colors in there. So I'm gonna put this strip. All right, I'm getting all good for those of you following along here. All right, so this strip, so I cut this at three fourths of an inch. It's three fourths of an inch by five and a quarter. So it just fits perfectly. Um, oh, I see. Sue isn't able to see. Um, yeah, you can just watch. Okay, um, so this way you can kind of just see this. And then this white piece is going to go on. This is where you're going to write. And so. I'll just put this on the inside. Yeah, so I had to change. I was going to have um, my mine facing the other direction, but um, the glare behind my window, so I had to turn the direction so that people could see me a little bit better. So this is how it opens up. Now I have, um, I already punched this ahead of time. Uh, this punch is retiring. This is a decorative circle punch, and I use this a lot, so I'm kind of sad that it's retiring. Um, but I just know that that's because they're bringing on all kinds of new things. So um, if you do like this punch, order it soon um, so it doesn't sell up and you're able to get that. Um, and so I have this, again, that I punched ahead of time. And then I'm going to also use um, Sending Love and Best Wishes, also from the perennial postage. And I'm going to use Melon Mambo again. And so I'm going to, but again, use whatever um, greeting you want, whatever greeting you need. Sometimes you see a card and you think, oh, this would be great for so-and-so. Um, so, and sometimes when I'm just making a bunch of cards at home, I don't put greetings on until I know who needs, who I'm gonna give it to because um, that way this could just be ready for anybody. Like I just know of a, I just got reminded I need to send someone else a get well card. So could be a card to just cheer someone up. So I'm going to um, put dimensionals just on this side because this is going to act as a closure for the card. So I call this a side closure card. And so um, I'm just taking two of the dimensionals. One way you could do it too is just put the dimensionals. I'm going to do that on here. So then you know that it's in the right spot. You know that you're not going to go too far over. So I'm going to just set this like here. And so isn't that kind of neat? It's kind of a fun closure. And then to open the card, they just go like that. Well, Carla does the same thing. We'll add the greeting later. Yes, it's so easy, quick and easy to do then. Um, for this butterfly, this is the one I did earlier. Um, there's a few different butterflies that work. So I just kind of do, you know, whatever. Actually, I think I'm going to Actually, if I do it that side, then it's going to, that's going to hit. We'll do it a little bit. Oh, shoot. I need to move this a little more. I should have put the greeting or the butterfly on first so I knew where it would be. <laughs> Look at me having to redo it. I'm going to do the other side. My other one. Sorry for this. I should have uh, thought about my placement of the butterfly. Hopefully you're going to learn from me. I'm going to put the butterfly on. Just put it on like that. There we go. Now my greeting. There we go. Way at the top and it works. All right, back to my dimensionals. Sorry about that. We all mess up. <laughs> Often we just do the other side. 
Yes, Carolyn, you've been learning from me for decades. So, so crazy. It's been forever. Carolyn, actually, <laughs> I used to um, have Carolyn come and rescue my, my stamp room. I'm going to move this just like this. That's much better. Um, she has known all of our product and is an extreme organizer. And she would come and um, tell me what to let go of. <laughs> I was having a hard time of just keeping things because I thought at some point I was going to use them. And she um, would go through and empty out my entire stamp closet. And then only um, she would help me get rid of things. I was only upset with her a few times. <laughs> just kidding, Carolyn. Um, but it, you need somebody uh, like that who can just say, oh, you're done with these. Otherwise, I just have so much stuff. And so she moved to Texas, so I missed that. Miss having or being able to tell me what to do. Um, so here is my um, love and best wishes card. I just moved it down there and it could have worked fine on the other one too. So here is um, this card and you can actually put a few on the inside too if you want. Just some random, random ones. These can just kind of go wherever. So that's how it goes. I was just thinking about the look you get when I'm pushing you too far. <laughs> ah, Carolyn, yes. Yes, but it's so good. So good. I'm going to need you when I finally get organized out here at this new house. So um, this is that next card, the side closure card. So I'm going to set that one aside and move on to the next. All right. So... This next card, we are dealing with the packet that has the um, pumpkin eye in. And so if you want to get this one out, we use the same colors kind of a lot in this just because that's um, what are in uh, the papers here. Oops, there's not too many in there. So um, this one is pretty fun too. Um, I'll show you the finished, finished one here. So this, I, I'm going to take off the ribbon, and it opens up like this and like this. So there is an, oh, actually a whole big area that you know, I need a Carolyn in my life. <laughs> we all need a Carolyn. Oh, here she says, we'll fly um, to play stamps. Yes, I actually should look into flying you up here at some point. Um, that would be great. <laughs> It'd be a lot of fun. Um, so this one, uh, you just have a little area to write, and then I just use the ribbon to keep it closed. So for this, you've got a piece of melon mambo. This is just a quarter sheet of the cardstock. It's um, five and a half by four and a quarter. And then I have this pumpkin piece. And actually, this one I did score. Um, this one is four inches by eight and a half. And then I scored it um, at five and a quarter. So I'm just going to fold it on the score line. And um, so this just goes like this. Now you have it, so it's going to open up this way. And so I'm going to grab my adhesive. This is actually a pretty quick card, especially when I prepped it all for you, um, just because it's actually just a lot of gluing on here. Or doing adhesive and then I'm going to take this piece we've used this one before this is the other side just so you can see it now um, this piece here is um, two inches by four inches that's not right this is um, three and three fourths by five sorry I'm reading the, the other one is two inches by four inches. So um, this one is the same paper that we used on the last card. Hold on. Did I move that back? Um, this is the same paper that we used on the last card. Um, it's just a smaller piece. And so I've got this uh, Milamambo piece. This is two and a half by eight and a half, and you're going to score it at four and a quarter. I've been going through a lot of Melon Mambo. Oh no, I cut it. I just told you guys all that you shouldn't cut, uh, have the black one away and I did it. Good thing I have another one cut. Thinking about too many things right now. So I'm gonna do this um, four and a quarter. 
and then you're just going to fold this. So this is the card that you actually write on. And so I'm going to put adhesive on the back of this. And so this, like I said, opens this way. So you're going to set this so it's in the center of the open part here. With a fold here. So one fold's on the bottom, one fold is at the top. Does that make sense? So if I hold it like this way, you can kind of see how that goes. Now I'm going to put adhesive on the back of my designer series paper. And then put this. This one looks a little bit smaller than the other one that I did. Oh well. It's just a little bit um, taller. All right, so that one's going to go there. And then, um, oh no! I hope you all weren't just falling right along. I forgot to put this piece on. <laughs> oh goodness, that's what I get for trying to do five cards in a row. Um, this, this piece too. Did I mess all of you up? I hope that you can still get this piece down. If you didn't put too much adhesive, it should come off really quickly. If not, let me know because I messed you up. So now this goes on here. That looks way better with that designer series paper on the back, doesn't it? It really adds a lot to it. Uh, I like all the different colors we're using. Yes, these bright colors are super fun, especially this time of year. I just feel like you just need some bright, bright fun colors um, for the spring. Uh, this uh, Melon Mambo's pumpkin pie is pretty fun. I love the designer series paper because it gets me to use colors that I may not um, use. I'm going to just pull this back. On the back of it, it tells all the colors. And sometimes when I'm going to make a card, I um, just look in our catalog at, and look at the back of um, the papers or the colors. And I use color combinations from our designer series paper pack because you know that they always look right together. Yeah, good question, Debbie. What colors do you like to use? Do you tend to use more of a navy or, um, or soft colors? To me, it kind of depends on the time of the year. But right now, I am really enjoying fun bright ones. So I'm now going to tie the ribbon around here to make a bow. You can wait and do this part till you're actually ready to give it. And can you see I'm doing the, the bow upside down? For some reason, it, land, it sits better if I tie it upside down. Go figure. I don't know why that works, but it's just the way I do it. So here is the finished card. How are you guys doing on this one? Getting, doing good on the double fold? Hopefully I get a yes. <laughs> yes, before too long. All right. So the next one here. This ends up being a lot of stuff. And I don't know about you, um, when I stamp, <laughs> I can get a whole table full of things. It's hard to do a lot of projects um, and keep it all clean. Um, but uh, it just is what it is. Oh, Anne's good, Carolyn's good, that's awesome. Uh, I'm gonna be using Berry Burst for this next card. And I'm actually using a Greetings from um, Circle Sings. Um, that set is um, going to be retiring as well. Jessica Taylor is in my team, and that was her set that she designed um, with when she sold a million dollars. Um, when you are a dem Stampin' Up! demonstrator, once you reach a million in sales, which is crazy, that's so many stamps, paper and ink, um, you get to design your own stamp set. And I just that would be so hard to kind of, you know, that you work with the artists at Stampin' Up, but um, I have no idea what I would do. Um, but it is fun to see in the, each new catalog um, what people do come up with. So um, this, I'm using Berry First, like I said before. And so this is the card that we're doing, and I call this just the center open. Have any of you heard this called something else? Um, so this is also where I use the embossing folder, the Zinnia embossing folder. Um, you can see that texture. I have a piece here, my little kit here. So I think you'll see it a little bit better maybe on this piece because it's, I was just, I don't know, trying to get a good look on that. But anyway, hope I kind of stalled there for a second. 
So um, the screen is so small I can barely. Okay, I'll move up to the. How is this? Can you see that better? Oh, and the sound is echoing a lot. Shoot, I was hoping that it would be a little bit better. I was trying to do it earlier. I thought I got the sound pretty good. Um, so this is the card that we're doing here, um, birthday wishes. And like I said, this is from um, Circle Sings. And so we are gonna start, um, I'm using Blackberry Bliss and Berry Burst. So for the Blackberry Bliss, I've got this five and a half by four and a quarter sheet. And I have this um, Berry Burst um, piece that I'm just going to put on this Blackberry Bliss. Some of these names are like tongue twisters. If you say them too, <laughs> too many times in a row. So here is the, um, the base of the card. Now you're gonna have this Blackberry Bliss. <laughs> now I'm gonna second guess myself as I'm saying it. Um, this one I'm going to be scoring. Whoops, here we go. I've got too many sheets at two inches. And I got the cut one away. You only need to do that once and then you remember for a while. Um, so I'm gonna score it at um, two inches, at three and three fourths, and then at four and a quarter. That does not seem right. Not that I'm doing this here. Sorry, I... Uh, Yes, I'm totally looking at the wrong thing. All right, starting over two inches, three and three fourths, which I did, seven and a quarter, that makes more sense, seven and a quarter and nine inches. There we go. Awesome. Actually, it's all, all just perfect. So you're storing this in. So it opens like so. So the first ones you fold down. Is everyone following along with how you folded this piece? And again, I'm gonna say these, you score at two inches, three and three fourths, seven and one fourth, and nine inches. So that is um, how you do it. So um, this piece is three and three fourths by 11. So um, it's not quite a, it's smaller than a half sheet. So here you go. Again, one last time, center will be flat and then you close it like that. All right, I'm gonna set this aside and I'm going to and just mount this onto the center of here. Yes, Sue, thank you. So many great folds. Um, and that's what I was going to ask you. Would you guys want to do another fun fold class? Let me know because there's, I, as I started looking at folds, I was like, oh, I could do a lot more of these too. So um, let me know if you would be interested in doing another fun fold class where I just focus on totally different ones. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to mount this piece onto the very first square. And so going to put this on here. The Berry Burst, um, this piece of design of series paper is three inches by three inches. And then the Berry Burst is um, three and a quarter by three and a quarter. Oh, Carolyn says, yes, she would love another class. Awesome. Well, I will have to start thinking up some <laughs> new ones. Um, this, I'm going to just do this tie right away so that I don't forget to tie this around because I'm only tying it around these two pieces. It's gonna go on top of this, and um, this uh, berry burst is more star, um, sturdy than in the designer series paper. So that's why I went did the ribbon just around these two pieces and not this one. So um, now is when you're gonna do the ribbon around here. And I just tied it in a knot. Often I tie in knots instead of bows. Sometimes uh, the post office can get a little cranky if 
it gets too thick. Kind of depends on the ribbon. This one's very thin though, so I don't think you'd have any trouble. I find too, it just depends on who's looking at them that day for sending cards. Great, great once in a while, I do get one sent back. All right, so I have this just like that. And so um, then I can, then once the ribbon is on here, I'm gonna slide this down a little bit more. Um, I can mount this or adhere it onto the back or onto this designer series paper. Again, you can choose if you want it to be on, um, on this side or this side. Just kind of depends what, you're, what look you're going for. So I'm just gonna do it on this more solid side because I kind of feel like there's just enough going on. And then, now this is a real tricky part. Only put adhesive on this, this side. If you put it on both sides, you're gonna seal your card shut and you won't be able to open it and that would be a big bummer. So um, I'm just going to put adhesive on this side or what you can do to make sure is just put some adhesive on here. Now you don't wanna put adhesive all the way to the end because this isn't covering the entire space. So I don't know if you can see, I just put some adhesive right here on the side. And so then I just look here and I wanna just make sure it's centered. Oh, I'm move down just a tad. I don't know about you, I like to stand when I stamp and I'm sitting right now, it's kind of messing me up. Uh, tell me in the comments, do you stand or sit when you're creating by yourself? So this is how it opens. I'm just like that. I do have a piece of um, white to go in the center. Uh, this white is three and a quarter by three and a half because this isn't a, a perfect square. Yes, you stand so you can center it. Yes, that's what I think too. That's why I was a little worried about how it works that one. So um, the three and a quarter goes this way and three and a half, but you can kind of just um, see how it goes. Sue sits. Yeah, it kind of just, just depends on how you've started, I think. So isn't this fun? I just love these colors, this color combination too. I've been using um, Melon Mambo the most, but it looks, this card I just think looks good with the um, Blackberry Bliss and um, Berry Burst. Andrea stands too. All right. Um, for this birthday wishes, I'm gonna just click go. And again, this could be a congratulations card or uh, really any any greeting. Got my birthday wishes on there. And this one, I'm going to use a dimensional two. And I'm just gonna stick one. And I kind of have it so it goes off to the side a little bit too. So here is the finished card. So it opens like that. So you can kind of see it in case you're having trouble kind of seeing how that goes. How are you doing on this card? Is everyone about set with this one? We're getting to the last card. One left. Thanks, Sue. I'm glad you like the card. All right. Well, I'm going to um, set this aside. I should be stacking all these together so we have them. All right. Last one. This one I'm going to be using sweetly scripted um, stamps with it. This is also a brand new um, online exclusive. Love the different scripts on here. Isn't that awesome? Now, the one thing I'm going to tell you too, um, I use an eye block with this. This is um, one of our acrylic blocks. They are discontinuing this. So if you do not have an eye block and you like these stamps, I would order this. Um, I would order it soon just because it may sell out. So we're keeping our other acrylic blocks. I guess this just wasn't a very popular size, but it's perfect for using sweetly scripted um, stamps. So if you don't have this, you can use any uh, any stamp set, but um, I'm going to use that one when I get to the point of doing it. So I'm going to um, start here. All right. So on this one, I'm going to show you my finished card. Isn't this fun? I 
uh, I really like how this turned out. Sometimes when you make a card, aren't you like just so excited about it? Like this is one that I was really excited about. So I have this little belly band that I just put off and then it just kind of opens like that. Isn't that fun? So like I said, you could use any birthday on here. Like I'm not even using a lot, all the lines of the stamps, but um, it looks like that. I just think it's a fun way. It really shows off our designer series paper. So um, we're gonna go ahead and start with this. So um, this one I need to score. And so I'm going to put this out, get the cutting one out of the way. And um, for this one, for scoring, um, this this one is it's bigger than a half. Um, I use I have to kind of use a lot of this um, sheet because this is five and a half by eleven. So I cut it in vertical, but there's not a lot of space left at the edge of this. Oh, my screen kind of froze for a second. Um, so when I am um, scoring this, I'm going to do it at one and a quarter. And again, I've done this for you, so it's on there. So one and a quarter, and then at four inches, and then at six and three fourths. And so then I just, I kind of just went hold in half there, back and there. So it kind of looks like like this. So um, I cut the designer series paper. You will have um, two of these. They are the same. Um, they're one inch by five and a quarter. And so I'm going to start by putting adhesive on those. And so I'm going to put this Whoops, I almost did it upside down. That would have been awful. So I put this one here, then it opens up, and then I'm gonna put this on there. So, so far I've got this. So I just have those two pieces. The next one I'm gonna do is this piece. We've used this a couple times. And so um, I'm gonna use this side this time. So I'm gonna put adhesive on the back of that one. So put this just like so. Hopefully you're able to get this one going. I'm gonna skip this section because that's where the white one is gonna go. And then I'm gonna put this one here. Isn't that fun on the other side too? Like I said, they're all, all sides are fun. <laughs> I'm focusing on the flowering side though. So you can just choose. There really is no up or down with this. They all look good. So this is what I've got so far. Everyone doing good on theirs? So then all I need to do now is stamp. I'm gonna stamp a greeting on here. And again, you can wait and stamp something later. Um, I'm going to use Melon Mambo on the happy birthday. Actually, I only need to put on this much of it because I know I'm not going to do the whole, catch the whole thing. And so I'm just putting this happy birthday at the top. If you notice, a lot of these cards don't have a huge spot to write. Sometimes I kind of like that because um, sometimes it's just hard to know what to say on a whole, <laughs> on a big area. So. Um, this is just for the inside. I'm going to now put this on here on the inside. And then, um, so here's what I have for the card. So now we're going to focus on the belly band. Now I am using, uh, this is a heartfelt hexagon punch that I punched for you. And then I'm going to um, adhere the flowers in the middle. Now I'm gonna start with the pink one, and then I'm gonna do the pumpkin pie one. And I like to move it so that they kind of 
they're not the same dye, but I still try to make sure that you see um, both colors coming through on there. And then I'm gonna do the yellow. Let me tell you, I dye cut a lot of these yellow pieces for our kids. <laughs> Another fun thing to do while you're watching a movie is doing a bunch of die cutting. Now you'll see this part is open. And so what I am doing there is um, using the um, discs, I put those in the center. So I just am wrapping these all around. So I end up putting like five on there. You can put different colors. I just do the white ones. Just do the white ones in there. So here is um, how that looks. I think it's kind of fun just to have the little iridescent discs on in there. Um, now for this belly band. How I am going to do this, I am going to fold this around and then it's going to adhere in the front because we're going to put this over the top. So I'm going to just put some adhesive on here and then it will close. And then I will just put this on here. So this is that finished. Oh, or you could, or you could add the ribbon around there. Either way, I did, for the first one that I did, I um, wrapped ribbon on, attached it from behind there, and then stuck that on. So either way works. If you wanna leave it like so, that looks looks great either way. It's funny. I don't know if you've ever given a belly band card to someone before and then you watch them just rip it off and it's like, oh no, 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 you can just slide it. <laughs> Someone's calling my phone right now. My phone is what's videoing from the top. All right, so I'm sliding this on. Looks like I got this one a little tight. All right, there we go. So here is the finished card like that. So here are, I'm gonna show you our finished cards. This is so kind of fun to see all of our work here. We've got these, and then I put away the earlier ones here. This one and our Mila Mamba one. So I hope you've enjoyed these cards. They're just so bright and fun. I just they just make me happy, um, and I hope you've enjoyed them too. Um, I do want to show you. Um, I'm I'm having a special right now, um, where if you spend fifty dollars, you get a half pack of dimensional or different uh, um, embellishments. They're all different in each pack. Ten sheets of six by six papers, and then a quarter piece of each of our new in colors. These are our brand new in colors, and they are. Um, just beautiful. I really like the colors. And if you've been out in the stores, Stampin' Up! is so on. Like, they always know what colors are going to be popular. So um, this is what I'm giving um, this week if you um, spend $50. And if you spend $100, you get 20 pieces of 6 by 6 um, the same print and color, but a full pack of embellishments. So I do have all the information on the information with this video. So when you're done, you can click and it gives you links to everything. Um, and even the iBlock, if you do want to buy that iBlock. Um, and then if you want to be entered into a drawing, um, all you need to do is when I'm done with this, you can share this video. Um, you can share it to Facebook or share it with other people and then just comment shared. And um, I, I knew everyone who comments that I'm going to put in a drawing for a $27 Stampin' Up! gift card for me. So it's just you'd have to order through me to get that. So um, I hope you um, have enjoyed this. Let me know what your favorite card is. Leave a comment. Um, what card was your favorite? And it'll be fun to just see. And I'm excited now to give some of these away. I'm going to make a few more of each one just because... Um, I've got everything ready to go, but um, I hope you've had fun creating and thank you for celebrating my 27th um, Stampin' Up! anniversary with me. It's just, it's because of you. It's because of my team members that I keep doing this. I just love 
the time. Um, I love creating and I love being able to bless other people with cards. So um, I hope you um, take time to actually mail those cards out and um, just be an encouragement to somebody. So thank you. Oh, I see some um, Blackbird. It's fun to see what cards you like. So anyway, um, let me know. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe so that you know when I'm doing um, other things. So um, have a great day. Thanks for being a part of my um, anniversary celebration.